95% of everything you do is a result of your habits, either helpful or hurtful. Are you looking for effective strategies on how to develop a new habit? Understanding the differences in habit formation is crucial to cultivating a lifestyle with healthy habits. Whether you're adopting a routine of healthy eating, committing to a regular exercise, or eliminating a bad habit, the journey varies for everyone. Developing habits lies in the emotional response that sparks the change. Consider a pivotal career feedback session you've had or a realization that professional growth can provoke a shift toward your future success. Developing habits lies in the emotional response that sparks the change. Consider a pivotal career feedback session you've had or a realization that professional growth can provoke a shift toward your future success. This moment of clarity, often motivated by your wanting to achieve greater accomplishments or the fear of missed opportunities, can help you quickly build healthy habits and positive habits. It sets you on a path from complacency to a dynamic routine that prioritizes continuous improvement, goal setting, and the cultivation of habits that align with business success and personal growth. Starting your path to new habits, especially those that enhance your mental health and well-being, requires an understanding of the differences between desire, action, and change. By recognizing the moments that inspire each habit and actively nurturing them, you can pave the way for a life of healthy habits and positive transformation. In this video, I share the principles of creating lasting good habits, overcoming bad habits, and habit development. Let's get into it. How long does it take to form a habit? The time period can be any length from a single second to several years. The speed of new habit pattern development is largely determined by the intensity of the emotion that accompanies the decision to begin acting in a particular way. Many people think, can talk about, and resolve to lose weight and become physically fit. This may go on for years. Then one day, the doctor says that if you don't get your weight down and improve your physical condition, you're in danger of dying at an early age. Suddenly, the thought of dying can be so intense or frightening that the individual immediately changes his diet, begins exercising, stops smoking, and becomes a healthy and fit person. Psychologists refer to this as a significant emotional experience. Sometimes they call it an SAE, a significant emotional event. Any experience of intense joy or pain combined with a behavior can create a habitual behavior pattern that may endure for the rest of a person's life. For example, putting your hand on a hot stove or touching a live electrical wire will give you an intense and immediate pain or shock. The experience may only take a split second, but for the rest of your life, you will have to develop the habit of not putting your hand on hot stoves or touching live electrical wires. The habit will have been formed instantly and endure permanently. According to the research, it takes about 21 days to break or form a habit pattern of medium complexity. Habits that are more complex or difficult to incorporate into your lifestyle may take longer. Three weeks may not sound like a very long time, but you can create powerful habits within 21 days. By this, we mean simple habits such as getting up earlier at a specific hour, exercising each morning before you start out, listening to podcasts in your car, going to bed at a certain hour, being punctual for appointments, planning every day in advance, or completing your tasks before you start something else. These are habits of medium complexity that can be quite easily developed in 14 to 21 days through practice and repetition. Overcoming challenges and habit formation, forming new habits usually comes with challenges, but with the right strategies, they can become stepping stones to success. Be ready for potential roadblocks, such as decreasing motivation or changes in routine, and prepare yourself with proactive solutions to maintain consistency. A strong foundation of self-discipline is essential, and it helps you persevere through setbacks and maintain focus on your long-term goals. Embrace the power of resilience by viewing any setbacks as opportunities for growth and refinement. Having a support system can provide accountability and encouragement, while positive reinforcement through meaningful rewards can boost your motivation. Stay adaptable, allowing your habits and routines to evolve with your changing goals. And remember that patience and persistence are your allies in this transformative process. By acknowledging these challenges and adopting a flexible, determined approach, 
you can effectively embed new positive habits into your life, paving the way for continuous personal development and lasting change. So, how to develop a habit in seven steps. Over the years, a simple, powerful, proven methodology has been determined for new habit development. It is very much like a, a recipe for preparing a dish in the kitchen. You can use it to develop any habit that you desire. Over time, you will find it easier and easier to develop the successful daily habits that you want to incorporate into your personality. Follow the seven step formula. One, make a decision first. You must make a firm decision. Decide clearly that you are going to begin acting in a specific way 100% of the time whenever that behavior is required. For instance, if your goal is to wake up early and exercise, set your alarm for the exact time you plan to rise. Then when it goes off, promptly get up, dress in your workout gear, and start your exercise routine. This initial step of full commitment is crucial in setting the foundation for your new healthy habit. Two, maintain absolute consistency. Every habit is built on the foundation of repetition. When you act repeatedly, your brain begins to automate the process, reducing the mental effort required to complete the activity. This automation is what turns a deliberate action into a steadfast habit. Consistency ensures that this transformation isn't just a possibility, but a guaranteed outcome. It's the habit building of repeated action, the daily commitment that cements your new behavior into your neural pathways, making it a natural element of your life. And three, tell others you're practicing. A new behavior social accountability plays a pivotal role in habit formation, offering a unique blend of motivation, support, and a sense of obligation that can drive you to stick to your new routine. Sharing your goal to form a new habit with friends, family, or even a dedicated support group can create a network of cheerleaders and accountability partners. The act of stating your intentions publicly increases your commitment and the likelihood that you'll follow through. It is amazing how much more disciplined and determined you will become when you know that others are watching you to see if you have the willpower to follow through on your resolution. Four, visualize your new habit. Visualize yourself performing or behaving in a particular way in a particular situation. The more often you visualize and imagine yourself acting as if you already had the new habit, the more rapidly this new behavior will be accepted by your subconscious mind and become automatic. Begin by creating a clear, detailed mental image of the desired habit. Imagine the environment, the actions you are taking, the sensations, and even the emotions you feel. The more vivid and detailed the visualization, the more impactful it will be. Dedicate a few minutes each day to this practice, preferably in a quiet space where you can focus without interruption. Five, create an affirmation. Positive affirmations are powerful tools in the habit formation process. They are positive, empowering statements that, when repeated frequently, can help to reprogram your subconscious mind, encouraging it to adopt new beliefs and behaviors. You create an affirmation that you repeat over and over to yourself. This repetition dramatically increases the speed at which you develop the new habit. For example, you can say something like, I get up and get going immediately, at 6 a.m. each morning. Repeat these words, the last thing before you fall asleep. In most cases, you will automatically wake up minutes before the alarm clock goes off, and soon you will need no alarm clock at all. Six, commit to perseverance. The journey of embedding a new habit into your life is often a test of perseverance. Committing to this process means pushing through difficulties and maintaining your course despite the inevitable ebbs and flows of motivation. This commitment ensures that the habit becomes an integral part of your life, leading to long-lasting change. Understand that habit formation is not an overnight endeavor, but a gradual process that unfolds over time. Acknowledging this from the start can help set realistic expectations for progress and foster a mindset geared towards sustained effort. Keep your eyes on the long-term benefits, allowing your vision of the future to motivate you through periods of waning enthusiasm. Seven, reward yourself. Get time, the last and most important step is to reward yourself 
for practicing your new habits. Positive reinforcement plays a crucial role in solidifying new habits as it taps into the brain's reward center, encouraging you to repeat the behavior. Rewards can trigger the release of dopamine, which is associated with feelings of pleasure and satisfaction. So you'll soon begin to associate at an unconscious level the pleasure of the reward with such habits. You set up your force field of positive consequences that you unconsciously look forward to as the result of engaging in the behavior or habit that you have decided upon. Embrace your new habits. Each day, each step in the habit formation process is designed to build a habit as well as the resilience, discipline, and consistency needed to turn your desired behaviors into automatic practices that enhance your life and propel you toward your goals. As you implement these steps to building new habits, keep in mind that patience and perseverance are your greatest strengths. Change doesn't happen overnight and there will be moments of struggle and doubt. However, if you're able to overcome these challenges, the true strength of your commitment is tested and your capacity for change is realized. If you wanna learn how to accomplish your next goal of building a new habit, follow these steps you'll eventually find that the habits you form are not just new behaviors, but stepping stones to a more fulfilling and purposeful life. They say that habits determine 95% of a person's behavior. Some of these are good habits and some of them are bad. After studying the matter for more than 30 years, I have realized that most successful people share a common mindfulness. They are mindful of their habits and have established daily routines that influence their behavior, productivity, and ability to achieve success. Even more impressively, they've learned to harness the power of their good habits while using self-control to minimize the bad ones. Now, the list of habits everyone should consider picking up certainly has the potential to go on forever. In fact, that list would quickly become overwhelming for most people. That's why we asked several top success experts and entrepreneurs the following question. If you had to go the rest of your life with only three habits, what would they be? Jeff Bullis has harnessed the power of good habits to create a website that has helped over 25 million readers transform their life and business. Forbes calls him a top influencer of chief marketing officers and entrepreneur, lists him among 50 online marketing influencers to watch. The three good habits Jeff Bullis would choose the three habits that I couldn't do without are set up with my morning routine. As my first few activities get me into the groove of getting things done. The morning routine is like a healthy rut that guides you towards what you want to achieve. My routine starts with a shower that wakes me up and energizes me and then there is the making of the bed. That may sound too simple, but it works for the Marines and the Navy SEALs. It's a simple discipline to get started. Then it's a coffee and a steaming mug of lemon and ginger tea that is sometimes gulped when cold or sipped as it comes off the boil. Finally, I sit down and stop for about 30, you know, 40 minutes of meditation. At this stage, I haven't opened my email or checked my social streams. I don't owe the world anything. No obligations to answer to what may seem, but often isn't in the scheme of business or life. Urgent, habit. One, continuous learning and reading books have been both a distraction and a place for learning since I learned to read. Every day I consume content by reading, often morning and sometimes at night. Books are the distillation of decades of learning by passionate, smart people. Their life learnings read and absorb their wisdom. You cannot create if you don't feed your mind. Habit two, have a place for creation. I allocate a set time and place to create a place where I can do deep work without any interruptions. Joseph Campbell, the famous author of the, the Hero with a Thousand Faces, described it. Create a sacred place. Have a sacred place, use it and take advantage of it. Have a place where you focus on nothing else, not your friends, the news, or what anybody owes you. Only use the space for creation. When you first start, nothing may happen. But if you use and take advantage of it, then something will happen. This habit is where you reveal your passionate purpose. It is your self-realization shared with the world. Habit three, he, why, wait, exercise. So we've always been told that mind and body are separate. The reality is that we are one being 
and it is intertwined. Deepak Chopra called it mind-body. Looking after your body means moving. If you don't use it, you lose it, and as you get older, the reality of that will become self-evident. I have been a runner all my life until 10 years ago. Today, I am a road cyclist, and four or five times a week, I become breathless and have aching muscles. I climb steep hills and challenge my racing heart and pumping lungs. Endorphins are my drug of choice. I could not do without any of these habits. The three good habits Steve Scott would choose. Steve Scott is a Wall Street Journal best-selling author of over 70 books. He's a leading expert on developing good habits and a writer for developgoodhabits.com. Steve Scott, expert at developing good habits. If I had to stick to only three habits, then I would choose ones that would provide maximum results in my life. These would be habits that I know I could do daily, even when I'm not in the mood or don't have a lot of time. With that in mind, here are the three that I would choose. Habit one, get a minimum of 5,000 steps movement. I would wear a step tracking device like a Fitbit to make sure I get a baseline of exercise every day. Whether it's running, walking, cycling, or a HIIT workout, I would strive for at least 5,000 steps. Sure, most days I like to get 10,000 to 15,000 steps, but setting this low ball goal helps me be 100% sure that I'm getting at some exercise every day. Habit two, focus on three most important tasks, MITs. Focusing on my most important tasks, MITs, before anything else eliminates the problem of scheduling too many activities and the feeling of failure when I don't accomplish them all. It keeps you focused on priority activities. In fact, if I only complete the MITs, then I can still consider it a productive day. Habit three, eat that frog. I agree with Brian Tracy that the best way to stop procrastinating is to begin your day by eating that frog. If you can complete the hardest task first, then you'll begin with a major win that will make all the successive tasks or chores seem less daunting. So I would start every day by completing the most difficult task on my list of three MITs. The three habits Daniel Scacco would choose. Daniel Scacco is the founder of dailywritingtips.com and consistently reads and writes to improve his professional and personal life. Daniel Scacco, an entrepreneur with good habits, habit one, reading two books per month. I read mainly nonfiction books and the impact they had over my professional and personal life over the years is monumental. Habit two, writing a bit every day. Writing helps to keep your mind sharp, to organize your thoughts. And if you publish your work, it can increase your network and be incredibly rewarding. Habit three, live in the present being mindful and living in the present rather than in the past or the future. The three habits Jack Canfield would choose. Jack Canfield is the beloved originator of the Chicken Soup for the Solar Series. He's taught millions of individuals his modernized formulas for success and now certifies trainers to teach his content and methodology all over the world. Jack Canfield, master of success habits and author of The Success Principles, on stage habit one, meditation. Creating a meditation habit is the best way to get the long-term benefits of the practice. The more you meditate, the more access you have to your intuition, which can help you achieve success faster. That's because when your mind is clear and focused and, and your body is relaxed and calm, you can access information, both internal and external, that can help you make better decisions. Habit two, visualization. When you start doing visualization exercises every day, your focus and confidence will begin to skyrocket. Visualization techniques have been used by successful people to visualize their desired outcomes for ages. Whether you visualize your perfect day, finding a parking spot, or hitting a grand slam in the World Series, turning this practice into a habit will help maximize its effects. Another huge benefit to doing visualization work, such as with a vision board, is you stimulate your reticular activating system. This makes you more keen to notice important things, resources, and opportunities related to your goals and dreams, which may have otherwise gone by unnoticed. Habit three, do what brings you joy. I strongly believe that we were all born with a deep and meaningful purpose. The problem for most people seems to be that they get distracted by the demands and expectations of modern society, which makes them lose touch with their true purpose and passion. 
To get back on track, I encourage everyone to think about what they love to do and what comes easily to them. Finding a path guided by those two questions will ensure you are working toward your true potential and more importantly, living a happy, meaningful life. The three habits Filltown would choose. Filltown is a hedge fund manager and author of two New York Times best-selling investment books, Rule Number One and Payback Time. He has a passion educating others and has given thousands of people the confidence to start investing and retire comfortably. Phil Town, champion of good investing habits. Habit one, be patient. Don't make decisions out of emotions, make them rationally. Practice a mentality of non-reaction so that you can keep a cool head despite market or life conditions. Habit two, invest in what you love. Don't waste resources, including money, time, or energy on stuff that is meaningless to you. Put otherwise, invest in what is valuable to you, not just in the stock market, but with how you spend your time and your energy. Habit three, think for yourself, challenge conventional thinking and evaluate situations from all sides. From investing in quality businesses to choosing a house, really think through all your decisions thoughtfully. For me, three good habits that I would like to pick up as below habit one. Be goal oriented. You need to be a habitual goal setter and dedicate yourself to working from clear written goals every day of your life, forming daily habits. All highly successful people are intensely goal oriented. Habit two, be results driven. This is made up of two practices. The first is the practice of continuously learning so that you become better at what you do. The second practice is that of time management. This means setting very clear priorities on what you do and then concentrating single-mindedly on the most valuable use of your time. All really successful people are intensely result-oriented. Habit three, continually take action. This is really the most important habit for material success. It is the ability to get on with the job and get it done fast. It is your ability to develop and maintain a sense of urgency and a bias for action. Fast tempo in whatever you do is essential to your success. You need to overcome procrastination, push aside your fears, and launch 100% toward the achievement of your most important goals. As Steve Scott mentions above, if a task seems hard, you absolutely should eat that frog and tackle it first thing in the morning to get it out of the way. The combination of goal orientation, result orientation, and action orientation in themselves will virtually assure great success. And you, what good habits help contribute to your success? Leave a comment below and we'll follow up with you.